Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at Kiwi's video, Is Fortnite, or sorry, Fortnite is in trouble. This shouldn't be surprising considering the past few videos I've posted about Denver guy talking about Fortnite being in trouble and stuff. Let's jump straight into what Kiwi's has to say. Oh, well, thanks for clicking on the video. You now have bad luck, but you can actually get good luck. Oh, he just this, does he? channel and drop a like on this video in the next 10 seconds. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh. <laughs> Kiwi's bringing us another Fortnite Battle Royale video, and as you guys can tell by the title of the video, Fortnite Fortnite is in trouble, but why is Fortnite in trouble? We're going to go into that in just a second. We're basically going to be talking about the Fortnite and Apple lawsuit and what that means okay. for Fortnite as a whole, because if you think about it, Fortnite makes a lot of money off of- It's important to note that that's what he's talking about because it could just be a general Fortnite's dying video, but instead we're looking at Fortnite and Apple. It'll be interesting to see how a content creator like Kiwi's, who's so child-friendly and family-friendly, talks about this and explains this to his viewers well, let's take a, a look people that play fortnite on mobile oh so, you know it's it's kind of a pickle okay it's a, it's a little scary hopefully you guys enjoy this video it's just a little discussion video if you do make sure to drop a like and if you guys want to see more discussion videos like this like i said the better this video does we'll do more of them subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and if it's not obvious go ahead subscribe to kiwis if you enjoy his content support a creator type kiwis and hit accept when i hit 200k people using my code i'm gonna dye my hair so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow it's been your boy kiwis and i'm out Peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about Fortnite, the good old Fortnite Battle Royale. It's in a little bit of a little bit of a scuffle here, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys don't already know and you guys don't keep up with the Fortnite drama or the Fortnite news, I mean, a lot of people don't. So, I mean, I don't know. And you guys haven't seen my video about it or other people's videos about it. Fortnite is in a little bit of trouble. And uh, it's it's, it's kind of weird how the story keeps escalating every single day and stuff. But <laughs> I, I just wanted to make a vid another video talking about it, seeing you know, where you guys' opinions are at and stuff, because, you know, this is kind of crazy. You know, this isn't just like like uh, an opinion video. This isn't like Fortnite's dying video in a way it is, but not because <laughs> it's like my opinion or anything. It's because literally Fortnite is going to have a lot of devices banned from being able to, to Okay, play that's the game, fair. You know what I mean? Like, that is part bad. is fair. Oh, yeah, seems like there's a guy here. Oh, he tried to block me off. That's cute. What the? Okay, so he, he plays try, the game buddy. in his videos. It almost worked because Denver but, uh, just failed. Just commentary over so, his gameplay Fortnite didn't Mobile they? is now uh, being banned. I mean, not being banned, but only on iOS devices, which is huge. Okay, this guy, this guy's like. I get the feeling that he's not going to address this very well. Not because I don't like Kiwis. I think he's a great content creator, but this is clearly he's not even thinking about what he's talking about. He's more so concentrating on not getting killed in the game, which means how is he going to explain this? I want to see. Let's hope he explains it well. Apple decided to remove Fortnite from the App Store. Now, why would yeah. Apple want to do such a thing like that? Fortnite is like one of its biggest games ever. Like, why would Apple want to do that? Well, it's because Epic Games violated Apple's terms of service when they allowed people to buy things in the in-game shop that went directly to Epic Games without having to go through uh, Apple. And that violates Apple's terms of service because, you know, they have a whole, you know, contract and stuff. And you, you can't do that, basically. So in retaliation, Apple literally removed Fortnite from the from the app store which is huge like if you if you got a new phone you wouldn't be able to re-download sorry to cut well I'm not sorry because I'm doing a reaction video but to give you an idea of how big Fortnite has been on Apple I believe uh a while ago but at some point Fortnite I believe was grossing one million dollars per day on uh on thing you know of course that's nothing compared to well it's not nothing but it's not a lot compared to Apple's general revenue line but regardless fortnite has done a lot on apple or well, on iphones what the f and ipads bro. of course what the heck bro like you're gonna fight me bro i have no masks like come on bro, are you serious like i have no masks to get up to this kid That's embarrassing. He full sprayed me with a sub and I still killed him. All right, well, I know where we're going, Slurp Truck. Anyways, guys, Fortnite is in big deep doo-doo with Apple and, uh, you know, it's it's not looking too hot, right? They're very mad at each other. They're claiming that Apple is running a monopoly and uh, that's why they're suing them because they, Apple like taxes people 30% uh, fee or whatever every time they sell something or what, you know, whatever. I don't know the logistics. Like I'm not <laughs> like a journalist or anything like that, but I do know is that- Sorry, okay. The reason why I'm laughing is because this is kind of what I expect kiwis to do um not go into the details but just sort of talk about it roughly which yeah 
Fortnite wants to provide a 30% discount and Apple isn't going to let them because of their terms of service or, you know, whatever the case may be. People are thinking, you know, this might go away, you know, it might get fixed, you know, maybe Apple is going to, you know, come up with some sort of solution or maybe Epic Games will come up with some sort of solution, but that doesn't seem to be the case right now so apple just announced that it's going to be completely banning unreal engine which is the engine that is used so before we go into that because that's a different what he's about to talk about is the unreal engine i'm talking about fortnite as of right now what's important to also notice is that this whole thing started like three days ago i'm pretty sure because i was reporting on it three days ago on some other stuff that i do everything like this when it comes to technology when it comes to big tech like this everything especially when it comes to law everything takes so flipping long so we're gonna see different effects of this for a while now you know the lawsuit only started a few days ago these things take forever so what Kiwi is talking about everything is changing every single day in terms of fortnite being banned or not being available on iphones etc at some point i feel like they'll figure it out i just think that right now everything is so in turmoil that we don't really know exactly what's going to happen to develop games like Fortnite and a bunch of other games, I think like PUBG and stuff too. It's gonna to be banning it completely from all iOS devices and the App Store. So basically, if you have an iPhone, you can't play any games that involve Unreal Engine in retaliation to the lawsuit from Epic Games. So they're in like some huge beef right now, basically. Apple is saying, listen, no Unreal Engine, sorry. That means any game that's being made, like PUBG, I, I think it's made by Unreal Engine, just anything in general, it, it's no longer going to be on the App Store apparently by August 28th. That not only affects Fortnite, which is, you know how many people, like I know there's probably a lot of PC and console players watching this right now that don't really care <laughs> about this, but you have to think about how this is actually going to affect Fortnite because there is a lot of mobile players that play Fortnite. There's a lot more than you guys think. There's a lot of people that can't afford a console, or they can't afford a PC, so they play on mobile, right? And there's actually a lot of people that do that. A lot of people that watch my videos that do that, actually, believe it or not. And this is going to affect them so much because what if they can't buy an Android device? What if they can't buy, you know, it's just like, that's this is this is huge. This is really bad. And that could affect the viewership for Fortnite. That could affect money that Fortnite makes. World Cup 2021, is it even going to be a thing? Like, these are all things. Okay, so view okay so viewership sorry my phone just vibrated viewership will probably actually potentially spike due to this due to the fact that people who aren't able to play it on phones will probably end up just spending more time watching people obviously some of those people will actually go to other games or whatever but i'm not sure how much this is going to actually detract from the viewership from fortnite when it comes to youtube videos etc things that we have to consider when it comes to ios completely and in terms of the world cup i don't think this is going to affect the world cup in any way whatsoever you know what i mean so now all the the web developers and all the game developers are pissed because now this affects not only fortnite but those games too so if you guys play any mobile games right now that you really like and you're you're you love playing them like every day like make sure and double check to see if your game is developed by unreal engine because if it is you know that can okay be so that i'm probably just nitpicking now nothing's developed by the unreal engine they're developed um with the unreal engine basically publishers or developers sorry publishers actually publish the game but developers use different game engines essentially to build their games unity is another very big one but unreal engine is huge as well as kiwi is saying PUBG, valorant um and a lot of other games are on the unreal engine they're all going to be affected by this when it comes to apple devices at the very least yeah, apparently epic games is also in a lawsuit with google as well i mean nobody really cares about the google play store i mean unless i don't know does anybody care about the google play store i don't, I don't even okay so <laughs> okay so this guy okay <laughs> he's like i don't know about a lot of this he this is what he's saying he's saying that he doesn't know a lot about this stuff and he's making a video with half a million people going to be watching this regardless though the play store is less of a big deal because of the galaxy store now if the galaxy store pulls out from an android perspective then android users also won't be able to play fortnite after a certain patch is released as of right now though it's not too big of a deal because there is the galaxy store and i believe also you can make workarounds with apis but that is the difference between apple and android phones really in terms of apple as a lot of us will know is very they like to keep us in their ecosystem and they don't like anything and I mean anything else interfering with their ecosystem. 
you know i'm just saying rest in peace to all my mobile friends this is huge this could really affect fortnite as a whole to be honest with you because i know fortnite probably makes a lot of money on mobile it has a huge audience on mobile and this just is a, a horrible thing to see to be honest with you guys oh, i gotta fight this guy I was ready to beam me, bro. I also really think was. that when you're an influencer like this, I think it's really important. If you're putting a video out like this about this, he's just play, playing a player, which is why I'm talking over him. But when you're hundreds of thousands, if not a million people are going to see this video knowing it's Kiwis and he's a popular Fortnite creator, rightfully so. He's a great Fortnite creator as far as I'm concerned. But when it comes to topics like this, it's really important, I think, that you get the facts right because the thing is Kiwi is talking about a lot of stuff that he kind of knows kind of doesn't and he's even saying himself he doesn't know a lot of this stuff and yet when it comes to for example how is this going to affect Fortnite on a wider basis as far as the mobile stuff is concerned it's probably not going to be a huge difference I mean it is it's going to be a, a, a millions and millions of dollars are going to be lost through this absolutely but when we consider the valuation of Epic and they are constantly 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 increasing the valuation every single month it seems at this point it won't it's not going to stop epic like if you're console and stuff you don't really care like i already addressed that but it's just like try to think about all the content creators and just all the people that are actually being affected by this like there's a lot of mobile content creators that you guys probably don't know about i mean they they could always switch to pc i'm sure most content creators probably have the money to do that but it's just like what yeah. about the people that don't you know what i mean that's the problem so I, and this is gonna be a lawsuit that lasts a while i feel like okay like, this i'm glad that he said that, that kind of like goes away you know what i mean like, because the thing is well around. sorry to get Ki kiwis I, I have nothing against kiwis i think this guy is really smart i haven't really spoken with him personally but based on seeing him from afar from the past since red and before red some of you will know what I'm talking about. He clearly knows what he's doing. He's made his, you know, he's worked with his friends to create 1%. He's doing really well. He will definitely understand legal and business better than a lot of YouTubers will. But um, yeah, in this video, he has, he's sort of gone about this with a, I kind of know what I'm talking about, but not really, but kind of I know what I'm talking about approach, which again, when you have or are influencing about half a million people, I would imagine are at least going to be watching this eventually. It's got 300,000 views and it was posted today yeah around for a minute nice shot i had a pad i would pad on this guy i just don't have the mats to push him okay so he's gonna get us both killed if, if, if he doesn't push me right now that's oh that's right a now. that's a that's a good hit it's an annoying hit because no one likes getting hit by the rpg but Oh, oh my god, I almost died. That uh, would have been bad, boys, but we're chilling. That could have been just as bad as that lawsuit, bro. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. It's not as black and white as you guys think. It's pretty, pretty complicated. Like, there's a... Fortnite has, like, a bunch of... Oh, my god. <laughs> what the... Fortnite has, like, a bunch of tweets from the community, like, in the evidence of the lawsuit. Like, bro, 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 bro. Both of these guys aren't even in zone right now. Why are you focusing on me? Bro, doesn't this kid have to rotate too? Oh, let me let me get the zone, bro. I have no mats. Fortnite be like this. Game of Fortnite. Fortnite be like this. This guy is caddy launcher. Can I kill this guy? Oh my god. Okay. So I haven't watched a Kiwi's like, video in a long dude, time, to be so real with bad, you. Bro. Oh my god, I have no um, mats. Alright, maybe we can refarm So I didn't really know exactly know. how this video was going to pan right out. Here. I knew that so Denver guy was likely going to analyze to everything someone. that was being said. Um, didn't know how kiwi was going to respond or react or do clearly this is sort of a very casual commentary um but again i think there is a certain level of responsibility maybe that you carry when you're talking about a topic like this what? because i think a lot of people no, having seen no. on twitter was, a lot of people have really got this wrong from a from a understanding point of view basically farming the ceiling bro well, like a lot of people have diff a lot of people are saying hashtag free Fortnite. a lot of people are siding with apple and then i see a lot of people who are saying that epic games are uh, are only caring about themselves and of course epic games is a corporation i have no doubts about that that they're trying to increase their profit margins it's meant to happen or well, at least most likely i mean that's how businesses run so that's not surprising whatsoever but if you can look past that distaste for corporations trying to make money some corporations make a lot of money but still do a lot of good with it or at least 
with their position with the market do a lot of good with it. And I think Epic Games are somewhat trying to do that at least, especially when I look at Epic Game Store versus Steam and what they did there. Tim Sweeney has spoken about this a lot, but again, this is from a tech point of view, from a business point of view, which I suppose a lot of Fortnite players are really not interested in. And it doesn't help that Epic Games has over the past year or two consistently not been at the top of Fortnite communities best list essentially a lot of people don't like fortnite or at least are complaining about fortnite whilst they play it still every single day so of course when it comes to a battle between epic games and another, another giant that they have no connection with really of course some people are going to side with apple and some people are just going to say corporations don't like you so why should i like them so there are a lot of different ways of thinking about it While if you're if you're a mobile player consider switching to android if you can for the time yep. being i mean i don't even know because it might come back it's just a weird situation, man. And the other thing that Kiwis hasn't mentioned, which I understand why he hasn't, but this is not just Fortnite. Spotify, in fact, have had a huge issue with Apple as it is. Spotify, I believe, are leading a federal, or not federal, but are leading a lawsuit in Europe against Apple for similar antitrust practices. Apple is in huge issues right now when it comes to antitrust with Congress. They recently had a hearing on Capitol Hill. There's a lot more to this than what Kiwi is talking about, which I understand why he's sort of a children's entertainer to a lot of this. So I understand why. But I'll actually maybe put a few resources in the description or in the comments so that you can actually see exactly what's going on here because this is quite a complex thing. And as far as who's right, who's wrong, is quite more complicated. And I think most Fortnite gamers are giving it credit for. So anyway, with that being said, what are your thoughts on this? I'd love to hear your take on it, of course. Like I say, I'll put putting resources in. But uh, with that being said, I think I've pretty much covered everything I can within a reaction video at least. At some point, I might make an actual video going through how my point of view goes on all of this in terms of the details, in terms of everything that I understand, which is, I think, a bit more than most Fortnite gamers considering that I spend all my time looking and this is part of my job to know this stuff to be quite real so that being said i hope this video was interesting in some way or form if it was a like is always a much much appreciated i'm losing my voice here so have a great day everyone i'll see you in the next gaming video